ERP and related technologies. We all know the data in the ERP application is not integrated with other enterprise or division systems and does not include external intelligence. In this lesson, we will study business process re-engineering, decision making, categories of information system and online analytical processing. After going through this presentation, you should be able to describe business process re-engineering, explain business process redesign, explain various categories of information systems and describe warehousing. Business Process Reengineering BPR is the fundamental rethinking and radical redesign of business processes of an organization to achieve dramatic improvement in critical contemporary measures of performance such as cost, quality, service and speed. In simple terms, the process of examining current processes and redesigning those processes to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of an organization is called BPR. Organizations re-engineer when the management feels that a significant gap is existing between the actual and desired results, creating a business problem. At times, senior management translates this business problem into process performance problems and opportunities. This allows the company to focus on fundamentally transforming the target process or processes, thus improving business results and solving the problem. By definition, re-engineering is radical change fast. Re-engineering involves fundamental rethinking and transformation of an integrated set of business processes. Re-engineering demonstrates breakthrough thinking and aims at dramatic business results. Unlike quick hits and incremental improvement, re-engineering is a form of organizational change characterized by dramatic process transformation. BPR relies on a different school of thought than continuous process improvement. The major characteristics of BPR are cross-functional orientation, process innovation, customer focus, clean slate and radical change in the organization's business processes by using ERP systems. BPR is more of a cross-functional perspective. The objective is to piece together the fragmented pieces of business processes. A process is a specific ordering of work activities across time and place with a beginning and an end and clearly identified inputs and outputs. Business process redesign is the analysis and design of workflows and processes within and between organizations. Davenport and Short, 1990. Teng et al., 1994, define BPR as the critical analysis and radical redesign of existing business processes to achieve breakthrough improvements in performance measures. Total Quality Management TQM, or Continuous Improvement refers to programs and initiatives that emphasize incremental improvement in work processes and outputs over an open-ended period of time. In contrast, re-engineering also known as business process redesign or process innovation refers to discrete initiatives that are intended to achieve radically redesigned and improved work processes in a bounded time frame. TQM and BPR share a cross-functional orientation. Davenport and Short 1990 define business process as a set of logically related tasks performed to achieve a defined business outcome. A process is a structured, measured set of activities designed to produce a specified output for a particular customer or market. It implies a strong emphasis on how work is done within an organization. Processes are generally identified in terms of beginning and end points 
interfaces and organization units involved, particularly the customer unit. High impact processes should have process owners. Hammer 1990 considers information technology as the key enabler of BPR, which he considers as radical change. He prescribes the use of IT to challenge the assumptions inherent in the work processes that have existed since long before the advent of modern computer and communications technology. Although BPR has its root in IT management, it is primarily a business initiative that has broad consequences in terms of satisfying the needs of customers and the firm's other constituents. Davenport and Stoddard, 1994. The IS group may need to play a behind-the-scenes advocacy role, convincing senior management of the power offered by IT and process redesign. It would also need to incorporate the skills of process measurement, analysis and redesign. Davenport and Short, 1990, prescribe a five-step approach to BPR, which are Develop the business vision and process objectives. Identify the processes to be redesigned. Understand and measure the existing processes. Identify IT lever and design and build a prototype of the new process. BPR is driven by a business vision which implies specific business objectives such as cost reduction, time reduction and output quality improvement. Most firms use the high-impact approach which focuses on the most important processes or those that conflict most with the business vision and for avoiding the repeating of old mistakes and for providing a baseline for future improvements. Awareness of IT capabilities can and should influence process design. The actual design should not be viewed as the end of the BPR process. Innovation and major improvements in the performance of business processes are difficult to achieve without leveraging the potential of ERP. Most of the business processes were developed before modern computers and communication technologies existed. ERP and BPR go hand in hand. Decision making is the cognitive process of selecting a course of action from among multiple alternatives. Every decision-making process produces a final choice. Decision-making is said to be a psychological construct. It is a construction that imputes commitment to action. That is, based on observable actions, we assume that people have made a commitment to effect the action. In intelligence, gather data, identify objectives, diagnose problems, Validate data. Structure problem. Next is design. Gather data. Manipulate data. Quantify objectives. Generate reports. Generate alternatives. Assign risks or values to alternatives. Choice. Generate statistics or alternatives. Simulate results of alternatives. Explain alternatives. Choose among alternatives. Explain choice. Go through the table given in the slide types of decision. Then, stages of the decision process. First is diagnosis. Defining the nature of the problem and its implications for the goals of the decision makers. Next is search. Identifying options that are relevant and feasible potential solutions to the problem. Assigning each option all possible outcomes. Next is revision. Assigning each outcome a probability estimate. Revising probability estimates in light of new information. Next is evaluation. Identifying relevant value dimension criteria for evaluation of outcomes. Next is choice. Establishing overall preferences for options on the basis of some rule by which options are evaluated and compared. Next is implementation, carrying out the decision. Strategic decisions are the highest level. Here, a decision concerns general direction, long-term goals, 
philosophies and values. Tactical decisions support strategic decisions. They tend to be medium range, medium significance with moderate consequences. Operational are everyday decisions used to support tactical decisions. They are often made with little thought and are structured. There are various categories of information system. Transaction processing systems TPS are designed to process routine transactions efficiently and accurately. Transaction processing systems are process oriented. There are two ways in which transaction processing systems process data, real-time processing and batch processing. Real-time processing is also known as online transaction processing. In batch processing, the information that is gathered is stored but is not processed instantly. A management information system is mainly concerned with internal sources of information. MIS usually takes data from the transaction processing systems and summarizes it into a series of management reports. Transaction systems are operations oriented, whereas management information systems are data oriented. Decision support systems are specifically designed to help management make decisions in situations where there is uncertainty about the possible outcomes of those decisions. DSS comprise tools and techniques to help gather relevant information and analyze the options and alternatives. DSS often involves in data warehouses executive information systems EIS. Decision support systems are data and decision logic oriented. Types of DSS are data analysis system. Data analysis systems are developed using simple data processing tools and business rules. Information analysis system. Information available to the management needs to be analyzed to arrive at a result. Accounting systems. Though accounting systems do not contribute directly to decision making, they can be of great value in tracking business functions. Status Enquiry System The system displays the status based on availability. An executive information system is a computer-based system intended to facilitate and support the information and decision-making needs of senior executives by providing easy access to both internal and external information relevant to meeting the strategic goals of the organization. The primary goal of expert systems research is to make expertise available to decision makers and technicians who need answers quickly. Expert systems are man-machine systems with specialized problem-solving expertise. The expertise consists of knowledge about a particular domain, understanding of problems within that domain and skills at solving some of these problems. Today's expert systems deal with domains of narrow specialization. Today's competitive business environment needs automated system to improve the performance and quick response time. As the amount of data stored in ERP system increases, the performance of the system slows down. To overcome this problem, the concept of data warehousing comes up. Data warehousing also helps to make the analysis process easier and sophisticated. The data warehousing comes in handy when there is issue of separating of operational and non-operational data. To analyze the data and to separate it from database, the non-operational data is transformed clean in such a way that one could retrieve and analyze it very easily. To retrieve and analyze the data, data warehousing system uses analytical tools such as Add Query Processing, OLAP, etc. These tools can organize the data for retrieval and analysis purpose. Some of the advanced data warehousing system supports to produce reports as well as online analysis, multi-dimensional analysis of the data. Data mining is a technique based on construction of data warehousing. Data warehousing stores a huge amount of archived data, whereas data mining process this data into valid and potentially useful information.
This information could be further used to make certain important decisions. The data mining systems considers previous history of investigated system testing hypothesis about the rules when concise and valuable knowledge about the system has been discovered. It should be incorporated into decision support system which helps the managers or executives to make the business decisions. The problems like inadequacy of human brain while searching for complex data and lack of objectiveness in analyzing it could be avoided by using computerized automated systems for analysis of huge amount of data. The automated data mining systems also reduce the cost of hiring the highly trained professional technicians. The data mining system is a user-friendly system. It simplifies the job and allows an analyst to manage the process of extracting knowledge and meaningful information from data. OLAP is an acronym for Online Analytical Processing and it is considered as an extension of the decision support systems. OLAP designates a category of applications and technologies that allow the collection, storage and reproduction of multidimensional data. Multidimensional analysis is the analysis of data based on more than one factor. The two basic components of OLAP are dimensions and measures. The dimensions that are included in the analysis are time, location, product and customers. Measures are the quantitative representation of dimensions. OLAP is useful to managers, analysts and executives. It supports multidimensional data analysis and makes data access easier and faster. The system delivers responses to users within 5 seconds. With the simplest analysis, it takes 1 second and very few taking more than 20 seconds. The systems cope with any business logic and statistical analysis that is relevant for the application and makes it more usable for each user of the system. The system implements security to maintain confidentiality of important data at different levels. Concrete locking is provided at appropriate level where multiple accesses are needed. This is refined data with accuracy. It also includes appropriate information to the appropriate user. The system must provide a multidimensional conceptual view of data with multiple hierarchies. If we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly, master file is the main copy of database and is the main operational database for the TPS. Right or wrong? Right. TPS is designed for top senior management. Right or wrong? Wrong. Re-engineering is the fundamental rethinking and radical redesign of business processes to achieve dramatic improvements in critical contemporary measures of performance. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Business Process Reengineering BPR is the fundamental rethinking and radical redesign of business processes of an organization to achieve dramatic improvement in critical contemporary measures of performance such as cost, quality, service and speed. The major characteristics of BPR are cross-functional orientation, process innovation, customer focus, clean slate and radical change in the organization's business processes by using ERP systems. TQM and BPR share a cross-functional orientation. Davenport and Short 1990 define business process as a set of logically related tasks performed to achieve a defined business outcome. A process is a structured measured set of activities designed to produce a specified output for a particular customer or market. BPR is driven by a business vision which implies specific business objectives such as cost reduction, time reduction 
and output quality improvement. Decision making is the cognitive process of selecting a course of action from among multiple alternatives. Every decision making process produces a final choice. Decision making is said to be a psychological construct. Transaction processing systems TPS are designed to process routine transactions efficiently and accurately. Transaction processing systems are process oriented. A management information system is mainly concerned with internal sources of information. DSS comprise tools and techniques to help gather relevant information and analyze the options and alternatives. An executive information system is a computer-based system intended to facilitate and support the information and decision-making needs of senior executives by providing easy access to both internal and external information relevant to meeting the strategic goals of the organization. The data warehousing comes in handy when there is issue of separating of operational and non-operational data. Data mining is a technique based on construction of data warehousing. Data warehousing stores a huge amount of archived data whereas data mining process this data into valid and potentially useful information. OLAP is an acronym for online analytical processing and it is considered as an extension of the decision support systems.